All right, make sure you keep on watching because what's going to happen is you're going to go to the original footage of uh, the Bigfoot walking back up in there and the orbs and all that stuff. You'll see the original footage, okay, not what I just did. And then after the original footage, you're going to see me where I go back in there and I find his footprints and I explain to you where he walked and how tall he is and all that stuff, how I got the measurements and stuff to figure out how tall he was. So, keep your information coming up on uh, this Bigfoot, and I think you'll enjoy it. And, uh, well, let's get on with it and see the rest of it, okay? Alright, this is the footage, and we're going to start looking at it here shortly. I wanted to show you exactly where he's at. You see this tree right here, where the mouse is. He came walking out just on the other side of this tree and that's him right there he can walk in out there's a little trail goes in between this tree and the next little bunch of trees go back in here and there's a trail that goes back in here and it goes back up that way and it goes back up this way so if you watch right here when I turn on footage right now watch right there watch right there see him walking He's taking the steps, he's walking that way. I wasn't even trying to film this. I just might have just forgot to shut the camera off. Okay, see those little things flying around right there? When we slow those down, I'll show you what those were. Those are actually orbs flying around right there. They're not bugs, they're orbs. And I will show it to you. And there's the footage again. You see him walking out. Walking across takes about four steps between here and here his steps measure about 55 inches so he took four steps all right now we're gonna start it over again and I just gonna go slow mode this time and see that that's an orb right there flying by it's not a bug it's an orb because I'll show you again when it comes over here you can check out my other videos about this these orbs and stuff why I know so much about it because they've been coming to my place for a long time I've been catching them on video there's one right there and he's gonna fly over this direction so there's your orb flying around which is an angel they're angels what they are and then there's gonna be another one come I think from this direction or somewhere We'll just have to sit here and wait. It's slow motion. And that's the rocks they were throwing right there. This is where the cougars were. And all these are the rocks that were being thrown. This is the exact same spot. If you watch the other videos. If you haven't watched the other videos. Uh, subscribe and go ahead and watch the other videos on Bigfoot and stuff. And check out the videos on orbs and angels or UFOs and I have a lot of interesting videos. Just check them out. You'll be amazed. See, here comes that big orb right there. Coming looks like they come from nowhere. See it blend in with the sky and they vanish into the sky. Angels. So the angels are flying around me, okay? They're protecting me, they're making me aware of Bigfoot, or they're letting Bigfoot know that I'm there. Okay? They are doing some kind of work, okay? They're busy at work. And everybody has like probably three angels flying around them all the time that's the two if you go look at my video you'll see me communicating with two that was two together okay and in my other videos I have you can actually see me communicate with one of these and uh, I'm not gonna tell you what the video is you'll just have to go watch the videos you'll be amazed what you see though you'll be amazed I'm telling you angels are real they follow you around everywhere I'm amazed that they made their self present on camera, okay, in the daytime, because usually I never capture them in the daytime like this, okay, so there is something up with Bigfoot and orbs, okay, because the orbs were around me to protect me, or the orbs are communicating directly to Bigfoot, from me to Bigfoot. It's just amazing what God does. He's, he's always giving me these you know capturing these things okay you can see Bigfoot's gonna start walking out here in a minute from right there 
Here he comes. That's Lucy making noise behind me. Good girl. Here comes here comes Bigfoot. He's gonna walk out between the trees. I've slowed this down a lot, so it's gonna take it real nice and slow. But if you zoom in, it's just a blur. It, it, there's nothing there because it was like shot on 18 millimeter, and it's about 150 yards out there from where the camera was. When I went back to do the footprints and stuff, I had set up over here I zoomed in over here because that's the bush in between the two trees you'll see that in the other part actually I was over here which is about another 30 40 feet back from where I said it was made a little mistake there this is where the original footage got caught right here <clears throat> but I really slowed this down so it's gonna take them a long time to walk across and you see him coming out from the tree right there he's right on the path there's a path right there and I, I see the top of the tree right here I went and measured the tree right there because there's like the tree comes up and it comes out right there and his head's right there so I go down there and I find tracks where he walked I stand approximately where he was and I hold up my walking stick which is 55 inches long and he's about 47 inches above my head okay so I would look he probably wouldn't even hardly see me if I was standing there I'm six foot tall okay so when you add the 47 inches to my height he comes out like eight foot nine inches eight 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 something like that anyhow it came out when I added it up so he's close to nine foot tall real close to nine foot tall he walks across there, four steps between here and there. The strides are 55 inches a stride. He's actually coming out this way toward us. And then he walks across here, and then he walks back that direction. And that's where the film stops. But I imagine he walked on up here. So next time I go, I'm going to go walking up here and see what I can find up in this area. And up here because that'd be a good place under one of these trees to hang out all day when it's hot and this is getting in the afternoon so he's walking up that way so I almost think he might hang out underneath one of these trees up here when it's really hot so this is playing away okay and over here there's something over here I didn't notice this you know till I played it like a bunch of times there's a thing it looks like a tree right here it's dark you see it right there okay we'll have to watch this area too because what you'll see is you'll see a thing that's right here I might have to back up because it might already happen where his arm goes on to the other side or his head moves over to the other side right here and uh, I think he already moved his head it's over here but there was another Bigfoot standing right here when it r runs at regular speed you can see him actually move a arm or a leg or something over to this side and this distance here from me probably less than 50 feet away but it's down on the side of a hill so you can't tell how tall he is but there's one standing right here definitely one see see this moving here this is like his arm or something it was over here now it's moving over to here and this is a Bigfoot standing right here So there's actually two Bigfoots caught on this video. And see, he's getting to the point where he's going to walk straight up. He's finally getting out there because I've really slowed this down. See that right there? That's like his fingers hanging over the top of the... Look at that. He's putting his fingers over the top. That's like his hand right there. I think his head's over here. But there's a guy standing right here. So that's pretty amazing stuff right there. I'm going to put the original footage on after this so you can see it better. Because, like I say, I'm shooting this with a camera right now. It looks okay, but it's going to kind of look a little funky. So right after I'm done talking about this, the good footage is going to come on. And you can watch it real close and check it out. And check these areas out that I pointed out. 
and uh, now Bigfoot's going to walk straight up this direction. But he took, and you can actually count the strides, it's like four strides across here, okay? And he did leave footprints. They actually, like, are on the other side of the tree, okay? The footprints are, and they come up a little hill, and he comes toward me here, and then he walks across to this other little tree, and then he starts walking toward the mountain. He's walking up toward the mountain because he's getting a little bit smaller and smaller. So he just kept walking up that direction. But I'm going to go back the next time I go back. I'm going to walk up that direction and see what, what's going on up this direction. And check out all this direction in here. But it's, you know, I was amazed because I didn't really think I caught anything. And then I got this footage and I was like, wow. I really caught something here so as I catch more footage and stuff I'll keep putting stuff on here of angels UFOs or whatever and uh, angels are UFOs and uh, as God gives me more footage of all these things I will keep putting them on my channel for people to stop in take a look at and uh, this is pretty cool foot footage really I can actually say I got him on I got him on camera okay actually got him on camera and uh, I think I found the good spot like I said he used to be there's another bigger bigger mountains on back farther and he used to be on the other side but there got to be too many people going there all the time and his tracks disappeared and then I didn't see no evidence anymore so then I decided to hike back into this place and check it on this side and guess what I found tracks and I found big Bigfoot too and uh, I've been getting a lot of advice about what to eat and stuff from this other guy and he told me if I find any carcasses and stuff to check and see if the necks are broken on them so I'm going to do that the next time but I'm also going to look for you know like big cat tracks and stuff like that because sometimes they'll take down a deer too but they don't usually I don't, break the neck, they'll bite the neck and stuff, but to break a neck on a deer or something, uh, it would have to be something really pretty powerful and strong. So it would have to be big, Bigfoot like he says, you know, I believe he's right on that, that they probably grab him by the neck and break their neck and then they eat the deer. But I did find a lot of deer carcass and some elk carcass. So next time I go back, I'm going to check the neck and may, hopefully the neck bones are still together and stuff and maybe can see if that's uh, what happened to these deers and elk. But Bigfoot is definitely in this area and So everybody, that's the video at slow speed. Now, I'm going to have it come on at regular speed and slow it down so you can see it, the footage without going through the camera. You'll see the original footage and stuff. So go ahead and watch all that stuff. There's the tree right there where he was standing and he walked out. I'm gonna go hike down there. It's not that far away. It's an easy place to get down there. I'm gonna walk right down here. Of course, gotta be right in the middle of sticker bushes. I hate these things, but you got the good long walking stick for. Ouch. Oh, pain of it all. Good thing I'm dressed for this. Alright, go right through here. Alright. Walk back on the riverbed this way. More. 
get to the opening where, where I saw him walking. It's pretty thick stuff as you can see. The tree I was talking about is right straight in front of me, like right there. That's the tree where he was walking. It's going to be tough getting there. It's pretty thick stuff as you can see. The tree I was talking about is right straight in front of me, like right there. That's the tree where he was walking. It's going to be tough getting there. Actually, it turned out not being as tough as I thought to get to it. It's a little bit easier than I thought. Got to go through some more sicker bushes. That's the tree right there. Getting close. Soon be there. Hope I find some tracks up here. Better yet, maybe we'll walk right into them. Be face to face with the Bigfoot. That's a tree right there. Almost there. And I won't be running in this stuff. My legs are too short. Okay, here's a kind of a path here. But he didn't come out on this side of the tree. He came out on the other side of the tree. That is the tree right there. Let's walk over this way. Looks like he probably came walking right out of here. So let's start looking for some tracks. Oh, it's really hard to see this one. Whoops, I kind of screwed it up, but right there's the back of it. Okay, then it goes up to here. It comes around here like this, and it comes down here. It's a little narrow back here. Like something hit and slid. So I think it's just a hit and slid hook mark. I don't see no tracks around here. But once again, the problem is it's all rock here. It's going to be hard to find a footprint. I think he came walking from right here. I think he was standing right smack in here. Or standing right there. Either place. And he stood right about here. And I, I was shooting video up there where the two trees are up there. And he was right by this bush here. I'm going to take my walking stick. And that part of the tree right there is about how high he was. So, because this walking stick is, is 55 inches long. And I'll put this over to the top of my head. I think I'm at the right height here. Okay. This is like the right height. Yeah, that's the right height. Bring this back from the top of my head to there. I'm going to say uh, 
47 inches exactly 47 inches above my head and I'm six foot about six foot well six foot with my shoes on so you do the math I'll ride it in when I get home I'm not too good with math that way and he took off from this angle behind this tree right here he took off from this angle and went that way to that small tree right in front of us which we're gonna walk over there and see if we can find any tracks whatsoever through here he took about five steps one two yeah he took like five steps so he's his steps are like 55 inches and there is a print right here but you cannot I doubt it if I can pick it up on the camera right here is indentation of the hill and then going up here and then there's a mark for the toe in between this rock and that rock and back around here and it looks like maybe his foot heel hit right across there which if I put my foot there look same as the other tracks one two three four about four inches bigger than my foot 18 inches or so maybe 20 inch footprint that's one and they take a step of about 50 five inches on the other tracks I found let's see if we can see another step it's so hard in this stuff I mean I can step down like this and I'm 220 pounds 230 I'll only leave a mark over here too no mark so I'm sure he could walk through here without leaving footprints but that is one back there. For sure, 100% one footprint. And we're almost over to the tree. Should be another footprint right about in here. If we could see it. Displayed. Just, it's too packed too tight so I can't really prove he was here by footprints I know he was here got him on video he walked right over to this tree right here and of course I quit filming with the video and he stopped right about here and that's the tree I was filming from uh, I showed the road over there because that's where they threw rocks down at and that's where the cougar got chased around and that's the tree right there I was standing right about where that bush is in between both of the trees and I panned from the road over to there and around and right here's where he walked he walked right across here and he came right across here to this little tree right here and he stood right here and the video stopped because I turned the video off and I went on back down the trail so he came from that tree there over to here stand here he could have there's a little path back here he could have come through that path I'll check that out because there might be tracks back there or even he could have might have been back here and then that would make him a lot taller and what I'm saying this is where he was and really it's not that far there looks like another heel print no toes on this one but that definitely looks like a heel print coming around coming around angled this direction like so he stepped here and he stepped over there and he went up there up there and over to that bush that's a tree again this is definitely the path he took so I had to walk in between these 
limbs right here. Check them out, see if they might have left anything here. Just probably pushed them out of the way and walked through. Okay. Yep. Once again, the tree's right there. There's a little pathway right here. And something hit this big big rock right here and tried to move it like four inches or so. So that'd be something pretty big and powerful. I think he probably stepped on that rock because over here from that step to there I'm going to lay this down to show you from that to that rock that's been moved right there is 55 inches and if you look real closely here i try to point this out it's hard to see but we've been tracking for a long time Pine cones kind of in the way, but the pine cones like stuck right here. Okay, there's a toe mark right there. Follow this line all the way around here. See where it's sunken in back here a little bit? That's where the hill striked. Part of the foot rolled over here on this edge. Came up here. Toe mark. Toe mark. That's two, three, four, five. Big toe. His foot went down right there. His second foot went right over there on that rock and pushed that rock out of the way. See that rock's all pushed out of the way? He landed his foot evidently on this rock and then there's toe marks. This grass is pushed down and stuff. This is broken right back here where he stepped on it. He pushed down the grass. There's another sunken in place there. For like a foot mark it's exactly 55 inches from that mark to that one so he walked right up here and there should be another mark and there's like a trail he could have come up off to this side up here and come down and he walked right up there i think he probably went in between there or there when he went across Chances are he went through that side, but it just kind of headed that way. This other step, now from this step, I don't know where 55 inches would be up here, and all those little plants and stuff are busted down right there too. And it kind of looks like a heel mark right there. It's really hard. You gotta be like a detective to see this stuff. It's, uh, Looks like another footprint possibility right here because this stuff is kind of smashed here. All this stuff is smashed down. So I think he landed his next foot here. I think he went that way. I don't think he went that way. He went this way. So, huh, moving the camera a lot in it. It's like, okay, then here's another footprint right here. You can see another footprint right here. Here, here, where his heel dug in. Another 55 inches. Every step is like 55 inches. And he walked on up here. So it should be another slight mark or something of a footstep. It's really hard packed here. So I don't think there's gonna be any more footprints from here up. It's hard packed. That's a little tree. And that's the tree where he started at from where I picked him up on the camera was right here stepping out toward that little tree. And he took like probably five steps to get over there. So let's go back this way. Since we've seen those tracks, we'll go back this way and go back to this one track I've seen back here is right here which is real hard to see unless somebody tells you you know it's like big toe next toe next toe there's another toe so there's one two three four five toes right there and then the footprint so if I stuck my foot on there again like I said I stick my foot on there 
he's about the same. He slid forward so it's a little longer probably than what it would be. So this is probably the same guy because it's going downhill. So I imagine he would slide on this foot a little bit. Let's look back up this way, see if we find some more. It's look like something slid right here. That's too far under the tree. He went and walked over there. Probably came up this this angle. Yeah. Yeah. He stepped there and he came up from this angle. Had to be should be another print around here, but this ground's just too hard. And uh, enjoy it. And if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. Give me thumbs up because that helps move the videos up the list so other people around the world can see these. Now, the main thing is just get people to see these, okay? I don't make no money on YouTube. I used to years ago. I used to make, I just started making money and then they changed all the rules and then I was one of the guys that got kicked off and not able to make any money anymore because you got to have like 4,000 uh, watch hours a year and you got to have a thousand subscribers and stuff, but I don't have that. And I don't ever get the 4,000 a year, so I doubt if the videos ever go that high, but maybe someday. But uh, main thing is just to get these videos out so other Bigfoot people can see it, other people can see it, and learn about angels and UFOs and all that stuff. Just come and check out my videos. It's amazing stuff that God has put in front of my cameras. And, you know, I didn't go looking for this stuff or nothing. God has just actually put it in front of my cameras. I put up a camera and stuff gets in front of it. That's how it seems to always happen for me. And a lot of times it's like totally in great focus too. So I got some of the best photos ever of things that people call UFOs and stuff. But if you want to come and check them out, come and check them out. Make sure you check out Mr. Blue. That one is amazing. That's one of the most amazing UFOs ever caught on video. Sharp as a bell, clear as a bell. I didn't do it, it did it itself. Anyhow, check out the rest of my videos and stuff. This is Cobby, and I'm going to be making more Bigfoot videos, so keep watching, because I'm going back to that spot right now. I found a hot spot, I think, and we'll see what we can capture. And hopefully, I'll get that perfect picture of him walking and stuff, and perfect video and everything. So everybody can really see what Bigfoot is. And uh, I don't know. That's about it for today. Uh, Cobby Badger out. Until next time, God bless. And keep watching my videos. And thanks to all the ones that have subscribed to my channel. I really appreciate that. Thanks. Till next time, Cobby out. God bless.